Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Naomi T. Grant. If this is your first time here, if this is not your first time here, thank you so much for tuning back in. Yes, I am doing another video in this hat. I am obsessed with this hat. I will link it down below. It is from Amazon, literally obsessed with this hat. Plus, I overprocess my hair. So I am letting it grow out a little bit. So I've been having fun wearing hats. Plus it's so cold here in New York City. So I can get away with having hat hair and like having like a hair mask on my hair or you know all of that. So yes, you'll be got you guys will be seeing me wearing a lot of hats here on this channel. I will link this one down below. Also, I mentioned one of my past videos. I will be sharing more um lipstick options i will be challenging myself to change my lip because i find i always wear like a neutral lip so this lip is from fenty beauty this is this stunner lip paint i really like these a lot so in today's video i'm going to be sharing my bag collection with you guys i think i have a very interesting bag collection i have a mixture of luxury affordable some vintage you know some thrifted finds interesting pieces and honestly i in a sense i feel like this video might be what i need to kind of narrow down my collection and even it might be helpful to me when it comes to like other purchases that i make for my collection it might allow me to see what my wardrobe is lacking so i can make better choices when it comes to purchasing my bag so let me move these out of the way i have i still have the bag from the chanel giveaway from karen brick chick i have it up here on my little bag rack but i'm gonna move this so you guys can see some of the bags okay guys so let's get started i changed my outfit because um I was hot and I have a lot of bags to get through and I want to be comfortable. The piece I was wearing before, the sweater is from H&M. I will link it down below. This sweater is also from H&M, but this is, they, they might not have this, but they always have that knit. They come up with this knit every year and I got it last year. So I will link that knit down below because it's such a good piece and it's really warm. I was literally sweating. So I'm going to start off with this bag here because I'm actually wearing it today. I have it, I have all my things in it. So this i'm kind of on the fence on the pros to it i think that this is a really good like dupe or a more affordable version of a baguette fendi baguette style bag and i'll pop a picture of the fendi baguette i don't think i, I think that if you know of the fendi baguette you can see the similarities but if you don't you might might not have ever thought of that this is like, these bags go for about like 400, no 500 and lower. I've even seen a few of them go for like 600 and lower. Whereas the baguettes are like a few thousands of dollars. So yes, you can get that kind of shape, that same look, the same vibe for much less. They come in tons of colors, which I really do love. I have actually reviewed this size and another size here on my channel. I have the gray one and the medium size. I did like i sold it i don't have it anymore unfortunately this the color just didn't work for me the size was great the color just was not it gray is just not my everyday color it doesn't work really well in my wardrobe um and i knew that i found that out after wearing it a few times right this though this color works really well in my wardrobe and i wish i would have gotten this in a bigger size this color in a bigger size but one of the cons to this bag is this size like honestly doesn't really fit too much i have my phone i have my card holder and my airpods don't really have much room for like a hand sanitizer or a mask which to some people is really not a big big deal but i just kind of always feel like this bag is stuffed and another reason why i wish i would have gotten this honestly in another color is the fact that it's it has gotten dirty it's gotten quite dirty and i am not quite sure on how to clean it so i don't know if you guys are if it's picking up all right it has like a scuff right here right on the c and i'm not quite sure how that happened how it got there but every time i see it like if you look closer it just looks dirty it looks dirty to me and i feel like if i got this in a black color or like a darker color or a different color i wouldn't have had the same issue so yeah that's that on the fence i knew it would be kind of controversial because it was viral and a lot of people like were obsessed with it. that's probably the only bag i'm going to talk about in depth with because i've spoken about it positively on my channel before and i have some cons to it that i'm not sure if i addressed 
here on my channel so I want to talk about that this bag is a recent purchase I spoke about this before this is from Kate Spade I think it's called like their smiley bag I might be wrong I'll pop the name up on it and also any of the bags that are still available will be linked down below love the shape love the texture it's like this really soft texture really cute very nice I don't have anything like this in my collection I feel like in the fall this would be a great bag to kind of just wear like with a sweater and wear underneath your shoulder I oftentimes don't gravitate towards bags like this I am a cross body kind of girl but I do feel like bags like this do come in handy on like evenings you know when you you want something other than a crossbody bag something a little bit more fun and this bag here is also quite new to my collection I got this this year this is a dupe to the Bottega Veneta their hobo bag this bag I actually got from DSW I will link it down below when I shared this bag before on my Instagram and on YouTube you guys were obsessed so many of you guys purchased it using my link link and I'm so grateful thank you guys so much whenever you guys purchase from any of my links down in this well most of my links in the description I do get a small percentage of that purchase just because I encouraged you guys and spoke about it and kind of sold it to you sold the product to you it really means so much and I'm also able to see what items you guys really gravitate to and like to, me to like share and speak about on my channel but yeah this was such a great buy I think this was like I think I got it for like $25 with my DSW discount regular cost was about like $50 I believe they have it in this color here as well as black such a nice color such a nice about dupe. one Bottega Veneta dupe I'm gonna speak about another this one I got from the company looks like summer I actually um, reached out to them because I really wanted to try this bag and I wanted to know if I could get a discount code to share with you guys so with my code um, I'll leave the code here I'm not sure then the code off the top of my head but I'll leave it on the screen so if you guys are interested you can use my code to purchase it this is a dupe for the Bottega Jody bag like the mini and I you know have wanted that one it was so trendy if you guys follow like fashion you guys know that bag was so trendy but it was out of my price point so I decided to give this a try this is real leather really good the zipper works really nicely it fits a lot in this really small bag and um yeah everything about it I think it's a really good dupe it has the knot nice size has the same kind of like curved zipper as the Bottega one I really really enjoy this bag I would love to get this bag in a different color I most likely will because I truly enjoy it the quality is really good it is real genuine leather so I think this is a really good dupe I, I have tried other dupes of this style and this one is probably the best so far hey dupes I'm gonna show you guys another Bottega dupe in my bag collection this one is from Zara this is another bag that went very viral on social media I will pop up the name of it and obviously everything will be linked down below it has like that classic Bottega chain like gold brassy chain I love this green this Bottega green is just such this a nice color. is the Bottega cassette bag with the gold chain I do not wear this bag often although it's a great color the chains are so heavy like it really is not great for like every I don't want to put it on for everyday use also this was a bag that was gifted to me by someone I don't really like anymore. so I don't wear the bag like let me know if you've like gotten a gift from someone who you just you're no longer with you don't really have great feelings for it's kind of hard for me to like not associate that person with the gift right I don't know that might be me like there's a few things that I've gotten that I'm like get over it like it doesn't matter if that person gave it to you like do you like it then wear it you know like so that's me that is just me that's the only reason why I don't wear so it so much nicer and easier to wear it with the regular leather strap like not having that strap really makes it difficult for me to wear it every day because not every day I want to be like wham bam in your face with this heavy loud chain you know I actually have another Bottega dupe I'm gonna show you guys um this one okay this one is from Shein I got this before that one and I just wanted to try out that like um weaved cassette bag look 
this does have a this is faux leather obviously it's from Shein but it does have that strap it has that Shein not Shein Bottega triangle thing on there um their symbol that is synonymous with their bags this is really small I don't know if Bottega actually has bags in this specific like complete measurement but yeah really nice really easy I think the style is really great taking the Bottega brand I mean I guess you can't because it, these are all dupes of Bottegas I think this this is a really great style you can get dupes of this bag literally everywhere everywhere ASOS Amazon I'll link a few down in the description for you guys to check out but I highly suggest if you guys do not have a bag not have like a dupe to this bag and you're someone who like likes to stay on trend likes to stay and with, when it comes to fashion, getting it in a neutral color, color like brown or tan or black, mm, you'll wear it all the so, time. So these two bags, all right, one is a dupe, one is like a more affordable version of the other bag, but I just love, I love this bag. Like, guys, you guys know, like, there might be a bag that you really are obsessed with from a brand that might be old and like nobody really cares about it's not really trendy anymore but you're like mm, love it so that's this bag so this is from philip Lim. oh my god what is in i don't know why the shape looks like this there's something in there i think to hold the shape but it's not really doing a good job i will name the name of the bag i think it's like the P pashaki Pash I'm not gonna ruin it I'll name I'll leave the name of it here this is in the medium size I actually had a bigger size I think in navy I believe I believe I'm not sure See, years ago years ago easily my son's about to be five Woo, easily seven years ago okay I've had these bags for a long time I love the leather on these bags it has like that kind of is it like a scratch on it yeah they're not in the best condition. I wore the heck out of the bags. And honestly, a lot of my older bags, if it was something I've worn a lot, I've worn them a lot. Like these were on the train. These I brought to school. These I stuffed my, my laptop and stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, I've, I wear my, I've worn my bags down poorly in the past. I'm much better with my bags now. I'm actually much better with a lot of things. But, <laughs> you know, we're not going to get into that, okay? So, I love the bag. Love the shape. Now, let me tell you what happened. So, Target actually did a collection with Philip Lim, and they came out with the their own version of this bag, right? So, this is the Target version, and honestly, these pretty they sell pretty high on the resale market. I don't know why, but oh shoot, my keys! I've been looking for the okay, all right now. Anyway yeah so love this bag too this bag though and this size made me wonder hmm do they have many versions of this like this specific one from philip Lim themselves and they do and i am going to be getting a few of them because they don't really resell well on the resale market i know many bags are in so it's like a few hundred dollars for the mini bags like maybe like three i've seen some in like the 200 dollars range but they're not a lot compared to what they initially like retail for and I want I saw a color I'll pop it on the screen I saw a picture of it on like tumblr or something and I was like oh my god I saw that color it's so so good so I am thinking of getting it in either in black because classic black you can never go wrong right red or a, a hot pink or that color that I'm gonna show you on screen. But I just love this bag. I love the leather, it's very durable, and you guys know, like, I have a toddler, he's not a toddler, he's five, he's gonna be five. Um, I need my hands to be free, but I also don't need to be wearing things that I'm scared if, like, of a little scratch or a scrape, because my, I'm not like that, <laughs> wearing heels all day kind of version of me right now. Like, that girl is, just tap, she taps back in every now and then, but, on day to day no she that's not her so yeah love this bag like let me know in the comments have you guys tried this bag have you ever owned this bag how do you feel about the leather i love the leather yeah i love this bag so i still have it i do not wear this bag as much as i used to i think it's just because smaller bags are in and i gravitate towards smaller bags but 
I'm not selling it. I'm gonna get nothing from it, even if I did, because the quad the there is not in the best quality. But yeah, I will be getting it in a small version very soon, and I'm excited for that. Okay. These bags here, and I've spoken about these so many times, so I'm go not. I'm gonna make it fast. These are from Target. These are dupes to the Bottega pouch bag. Love these bags. I oftentimes want to wear these bags regularly, and because of that, it's making me highly consider getting the real version from Bottega. I'll probably buy them on the resale market if they're cheaper than the retail cost, which sometimes not always is the case, but we shall see. But for since 2020 i i think i got these in 2020 and still i'm obsessed with it so i do feel like if i were to get it from bottega it will be really good like and invest like something that would be worth the money like worth spending on you know are there any uh, there's like a few coins in here but love this bag i also got a dupe of the same style bag from nasty gal that i really don't like and honestly i put it up here with this just because they kind of all are the same feel but this is so flimsy and it doesn't hold its shape well and it's like kind of too big um i think i'm gonna end up putting a few of these on poshmark so if i do i will leave my poshmark down below and you guys can check it out if you guys are interested in a few of these bags none of them are gonna be very expensive i'm just trying to get rid of them to make room for more and um if you guys are new here not new here you guys know i have a ton of well not too many but i have a few telfer bags i'm from brooklyn if you guys don't know i'm from brooklyn new york born and raised brooklyn is my home okay so whenever there is a brand based in brooklyn that has some fire stuff you know i have to wrap my city so hence my love for telfer bags I have it in yellow, I have it in orange, this is the newest one to the collection, and I have it in this olive color and medium. These are the small shopping bags, this is the medium one, love these bags, literally obsessed with them. Some of my favorite, most used bags in my collection due to its durability. I can actually fit a ton in there, and I think it's because it's an open bag. It has like a little um clip to close it on top but i've reviewed this bag on my channel so if you guys want to hear like see more details about it i'll link that video if you guys are interested and um some other bags from black owned from a black owned brand based here in new york city these are yato bags i've spoken about i'm dropping all of them i've spoken about these bags in another one of my videos as well i'll link it up in the cards but um i do want to speak about this bag in particular this one is their paisley not bag in orange i actually purchased this also in green but i sold the green one because um i felt like i had a lot of green bags so i wasn't really gravitating towards that one the green one as much but i did have that one at one point and this is from their mother's day collection it was like a well they had it in mini and then had it in this size and they didn't come together but i bought, bought both and i guess in my brain i'm like one day maybe I'll have a daughter and we can like wear them together um I don't know I don't have a person to have a daughter with so yeah we we shall see what what that's hitting for but yeah because Jaden don't Jaden can care less about this bag okay but I wanted to speak about this one so this bag really cool story behind it for Juneteenth Yato launched this bag right and it is like a different paisley colors they're known for their paisley colors it's yellow red green black y'all can see uh, all right okay so what was really cool about this bag is it was free they were like if you go on the website and go to check out and you can get through you get the bag for free so they were literally retail for zero dollars and i don't know how many bags they made i don't know if they specified but i was someone who got the bag i loved it and honestly because it has the green in the middle of the bag i found anything any outfit i was wearing with the whole green bag i can wear with this and this bag has a special story to it it's very unique one of a kind i doubt they're going to reissue it and it was free so i ended up selling the green one to StockX and got my money back on that i think i probably like lost ten dollars but it wasn't so too another bag that i got i got this bag from marshall's i was shopping at marshall's and i saw this bag this bag was ten dollars it still has a tag on it i don't i don't think i wore it out yet that's probably why but i wanted to try out that marble um square shape 
bag style it has like this rainbow color on the other side which is okay i think i really have it for this and yeah i'll probably just wear it like that but really cool really nice date night bag <laughs> you know i think it's a really good evening bag so that's why i have it and i spoke about these bags from Colt Gaia in one of my other videos. So this is a nice dupe to it. I got it from, the, I'll tell you the brand. If I can find something similar, it's from lulu-nyc.com. I will leave that down below so you guys can see and shop that if you wanted to get this style of bag for much cheaper. But there's also great versions of bags like this on Amazon that I will link down below for you guys as well. Okay. Now let's get into more like I have a few vintage pieces so we're going to get into that. Let me go grab that. 